I'm Allison Patel, the Whiskey Woman, and today on this gorgeous Manhattan roof garden, we're going to be making a Manhattan classic cocktail. That's right, Manhattan in Manhattan. <laughs> um, I'm going to be using, of course, my Bren French single malt whiskey. I love how this plays in a Manhattan. I think the fruit and floral elements of the whiskey complement so beautifully with the sweet vermouth and the bitters, and of course that maraschino cherry at the end. So follow along. There's going to be a recipe sheet at the end of the video that you can pause and freeze frame on. Um, so don't worry about taking notes and enjoy the show. <laughs> so before I begin, I just love to say that um, just like when you're shopping for your groceries and building a meal, I love to shop local, shop farmers markets, you know, support small business, but, but even more so get the best quality ingredients that I can afford and that I like. Um, same is true when building a cocktail. If you do not like any of these elements alone, you're probably not going to like them when combined together into a cocktail. So do your best, give yourself a nice elevated experience when you can, when you can find it, when you can afford it and all that good stuff. So today I'm going to be using Bren French Single Malt Whiskey, Carpana Antica, Carpano Antica, uh, Sweet Vermouth, that's the word. And um, Fee Brothers Barrel Aged Bitters and for my cherries, the Luxardo Maraschino Cherries. I also have downstairs the uh, Woodford Reserve um, Bourbon Cherries. Woodford Reserve is a bourbon brand. Their cherries are also really nice. And you can make those too. I'm sure there's a bajillion videos of people how to do whiskey soaked cherries and maybe I'll do one too one day. <laughs> All right. To begin, this is pretty simple. I like to serve this cocktail up. You can definitely do a Manhattan on the rocks as well, but because I'm serving it up, I'm going to be stirring it so I do not need my entire shaker. Um, no arm workout for me today. So, two ounces of my Bren French single malt whiskey into the vessel. It's totally fine if it gets a little messy and spills. You know that's my mojo. <laughs> um, one ounce of sweet vermouth. Do not use the dry stuff. This is not a gin or vodka martini. That would just taste weird. See? Spilling. Um, and then I'm going to do two dashes of bitters. Like I said, I'm using Fee Brothers. This is the whiskey barrel aged bitters. Pretty cool stuff if you can find it. I like it. Support them. I think it's good. And then um, I'm going to stir this together with ice. The ice. The sun has really melted all my ice, so I sadly only have two pieces. Use a lot of ice and really give this a very good stir. You could use, you should use a lot more than two pieces, but um, if I were if I were going to shake this, it would make for a bit of a more effervescent cocktail. I like to feel it a little bit more unctuous, a little bit fattier on the palate, um, less bubble, so I'm gonna stir this instead of shaking. If you want a little more life to your cocktail, go ahead and give it a good shake. You don't need to see these arms jiggling around on camera. <laughs> no, but I, I really do, uh, jokes aside, I do prefer this cocktail stirred myself, for myself. Um, so you're gonna stir this a lot longer. You want that ice to combine with the alcohol um, it makes it really beautiful when you give it a really good stir and you have a lot more ice. Apologies, the sun is melting and uh, melting, <laughs> melting all my ice. Um, take your one little cherry. You can do more if you want. That's not so typical, but I don't, uh, I'm not going to fault you for that. I think they're delicious. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and then I'm just going to strain my cocktail into my martini glass that has my maraschino cherry waiting and ready to receive the beautiful gold liquid goodness. And that is it, my friends. That's all you need to do. Let me know what you think. Cheers. Thank you for spending some time with me. I hope to see you soon. Ciao, ciao. Mm. Nailed it. <laughs>